All screen displays, that seems to be the end goal brands have been working towards. And Oppo and Xiaomi seem to have just found a solution to that last piece of the puzzle. How to stick that selfie camera into the display. Now this is what we're gonna take a close look at in today's video. Now if you do end up finding this video interesting, please consider hitting that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. My name's Ash, you're watching FTJ by C4 Retech, and let's get started. In the aim to create a truly bezel-less smartphone, brands have tried a lot of things. They first tried placing the camera beneath the display, the selfie angles were horrendous, and that still left the chin in place, so that was a no-go. We then graduated to notches, thank you Apple, and brands like Essential started to shrink those notches and they kept shrinking them more and more till they essentially became dew drops. And then we had brands punching holes in the display, but some were still not satisfied, especially Oppo and Xiaomi. They then tried motorized sliders, mechanized sliders, regular pop-up cameras, hell, Sharkman pop-up cameras. But they all had one of two issues, either A, the notch or punch holes interrupted the viewing experience, or B, the slider or pop-up mechanism was at the end of the day still a mechanism, right, motorized or otherwise, there was still a chance of failure, slim as it was, a slim chance of failure is still a chance of failure, right, and it made water, water sealing complicated too. Now, this is the under display camera from Oppo running on a prototype device. Yep, the camera is under the screen and when not in use, it disappears completely. Now, Oppo is not the only company to unveil this tech. Soon after this video hit Twitter, Xiaomi also tweeted out their version of the under display camera technology and trust me, it's just as cool. So how is this possible? Well, Xiaomi explained the technology that they've been using with a bunch of images and here's the short version. An OLED screen consists of three layers. A cathode, a luminescent layer of organic material followed by an anode. Now, in a normal display, say something like what you find on a OnePlus 7, you find the anode and cathode layers, also known as the substrate, to be mostly opaque. What this means is that very little light passes through them. In fact, that's why the area containing the optical fingerprint scanner lights up so brightly so that the image scanner under the OLED can capture a picture of the ridges on your finger so that it can scan it. So what's new here? Well, uh, Xiaomi has figured out a way to make the substrate layer nearly transparent. This means that a lot more light is permeating through, thus letting the camera module under the small segment of that screen capture your selfies. And when the camera is not being used, the OLED above it works just like any normal display. Of course, this does pose some problems of its own. The first being how much light the transparent layer can let in, and if these under display cameras can ever match the quality of regular selfie cameras. Another thing to consider is that the transparent layer above the camera that is a part of the OLED screen itself acts as the lens. So what happens if it gets scratched? As we know very well from, you know, so many videos of Jerry Rig everything, even Gorilla Glass 6 is not scratch proof. And would the circular area of the screen be touch sensitive? So there are a few questions that are yet to be answered, but then this technology used here is not really new. Transparent OLEDs have been around since 2013 and in recent years, LG has been making progress in leaps and bounds using large 55 inch panels of semi-transparent OLEDs for their signage lineup of TVs. So the technology is already here. What needs to be done is increasing the transparency of the substrate layers so that we can get clear selfies from the cameras embedded under the OLED panel. Now, we don't have any idea on how long that might take, so don't hold your breath on getting your hands on one of these smartphones anytime this year. Having said that though, this does seem to be the future as it does remove a lot of concerns with current implementations. Yes, motorized solutions haven't really failed yet, but moving parts are bound to have a few issues at least, and no issues are always better than a few issues, right? And this solution also leads to easier waterproofing. So when I saw tweets about this new technology on Twitter, I thought it was super cool and I really wanted to share it with you guys uh, in case you missed it. And this video was supposed to go live yesterday, but yay, we kind of ended up missing the boat on that one. Anyway, uh, if you did find this video interesting and if you really like the fact that we couldn't go live with it yesterday and decided to go live with it today, 
Go ahead, share this video with friends and family and also consider subscribing if you really like the fact that we go live one day late and we've got people who are monitoring the video who sit there and laugh and that gets picked up by our mics and if I say stuff like things get picked up by mics and that's not really picked up by mics then go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that bell icon and do all that stuff and I guess that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time. My name is Ash, you've been watching FTJ by C4 Retech and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.